Hi everybody in YouTube land, Yosef Yah here, and uh, today I want to talk about the uh, distance of the sun and the moon. Obviously they are a lot closer than we have been told um, in science class as we were children. Uh, the moon is not 250,000 miles away, and the sun is not 93 million miles away. Although I'm watching this um, video here, it's called Mystery of the Moon, Flat Out Insights with Rick Hummer. And uh, here, Mike states that uh, the moon and the sun are like 5 to 7 miles away. Um, he actually does say that. It's somewhere over here. Um, says it right there. The moon is roughly 5 to 7 miles above the Earth. Um, so, I find that just a little bit ridiculous uh, in light of the... Um, high altitude balloon footage. Let's just watch this video for a quick second and just listen to it a little bit and then um, gonna make some comments and show some other videos. Um, uh, uh, clouds behind the moon. All right, this is actually a video. Unfortunately, it's not playing right now, but this is uh, clouds behind the moon. And in order for clouds to be behind the moon, the moon has to be within the, for lack of a better word, atmosphere. And in order for this to happen, it has to be within our air blanket, all right? Um, it cannot be 240,000 miles away. It has to be close. It has to be. Uh, this is a, another picture of clouds behind the moon. And um, look at this. It's engulfed. The clouds are engulfing the moon. It has to be close. Now, there there are some people that say, well, this is a distortion or this is an illusion. Um, and they base that on the um, brightness of the light. So here I'm just going to go to this. Uh, just going to jump forward here and show this image here. And here it appears as if the sun were below the clouds, which is completely impossible. Obviously the sun is setting and it's at the horizon and it's just it's an illusion because you're just way above the clouds and the actual horizon on the on the land is below the clouds. So it, it's just an illusion. You're not flying over the sun. Okay, now to prove my point, let's um let's watch this here real quick. And I'm just going to let this play for a little bit. Okay, so here we are above the clouds. Okay. And anyone who has seen high altitude balloon footage will see that the clouds will appear as a thin film over uh, the surface of the earth while the sun and the moon are far above, far, far above the clouds. Not 250,000 miles away, not 93 million miles away. They are close. They are within the dome. They are within, um, you know, the, um, the dome of, the, of, the, of this flat plane that we live on, but they're not five to seven miles above. I'm just going to let this play here, okay? Anyway, I think that kind of um, brings the point home a little bit there. Um, also, I just want to show you here that the average height of a weather balloon. High altitude balloons are manned or unmanned balloons, usually filled with helium or hydrogen and rarely methane, that are released into the stratosphere, generally attaining between 18,000 to 37,000 meters. And that's converted into 59,000 or 120, uh, 121,000 feet 
11 to 23 miles. So we have 11 to 23 miles. Mike wants to say that it's 5 to 7 miles? Come on, man, really? Okay, in 2002, a balloon named uh, BU60-1 attained 53.0 kilometers. That's 32.9 miles, 173,900 feet above the Earth. Okay, so when you see the, this footage and that the sun and the moon are just far above there, eh, they're far above there, <laughs> you know? Uh, so the firmament is a lot taller than we would imagine. Um, now, to explain here the phenomenon of what we're seeing ab about these clouds appearing as if they are enveloping the sun and the moon, um, let's take a look at uh, this video here. Unfortunately, this guy here is is uh, believes in the heliocentric model, but this scientific experiment here most definitely shows the reason why we are seeing this illusion. Okay, planes flying higher than the sun. Come on, I mean this is just <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is all the disinformation that's out there to make the geocentric model look silly. But let's go ahead and watch this. This is Mick West on Metabunk.org. I've been asked why clouds and wires and things sometimes appear to be behind the sun. Well, the reason is because the sun is so bright, it basically washes out. Uh, and now, this is, this is, he's talking about the sun. Obviously, it works with the moon, too. Uh, and the moon is very bright, not, not nearly as bright as the sun, quite obviously. But it depends on the density of the clouds. So if the, if the dense, if, if the cloud is, is not so dense and it passes in front of the moon, the moon is still yet bright enough to make it appear as if it's going behind the moon. Um, so let's continue. Anything that's in front of it that is partially transparent or is small enough or is out of focus enough that the sun's light basically goes through it or uh, around it. And I can demonstrate that with this little setup I have here is a, a work light behind a uh, board with some white paper simulating the sun and I've got some old uh, film strips and a small antenna to simulate uh, clouds and uh, cables. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the sun on and you'll see straight away that the film strip in the middle, which is simulating a cloud, uh, has disappeared uh, where the sun is. It looks like it's going behind the sun and the wire itself also similarly seems to be uh, going behind the sun. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit to um, see what's uh, a more typical video of the sun with things going behind it and you see here there's the sun and the film strips are going behind it now if I adjust the focus so things are in focus you'll see the, the antenna which is a solid object pops into visibility because it is actually blocking the light from the sun however you only see it if it's in focus if you go slightly out of focus it disappears come back into focus and there it is again now, it doesn't matter how much I focus, the film strip never pops into visibility. That's because the film strip is transparent, so no matter how much in focus it is, the sun's light is always going through it. Uh, now, I've got some other film strips on the side, and I'm going to move those over the film strip in the middle. And as I move them one at a time, this is the same thing as making a cloud more and more dense. Uh, you'll see that the film strip, the which is simulating a cloud, is becoming more and more visible. And when we've got four strips on, you can see that the uh, cloud slash film strip now appears to be going in front of the sun. And you'll see that the edges of it are, uh, st are still washed out because they're a lot more transparent than the rest of it. But the uh, solid dark parts of and that phenomenon there of the edges being washed out is exactly what we see with the dense clouds passing in front of the sun or the moon, which block the sun and the moon, but the outer edges are brightly illuminated, just just like here, just like on this film strip. So, um, <laughs> sorry to use this footage here, but it's a good you know it's a good scientific analysis of what's going on, um, and as you have clearly seen. Um, in this video, yes, the sun and the moon are far above the clouds, far above the clouds, okay? So, um, 
I mean, it's clearly obvious that we live in a closed and uh, enclosed system, just like um, Bill Nye the Science Guy says, we can't leave the Earth, we live in an enclosed system. Um, there's no detectable curve, there's no detectable movement. I mean, there's just too much evidence, way too much evidence. We, you know, those of us who really do the research, we know that we live in a flat level plane of, exi of existence. Um, this realm of existence that we live in, it, it's a flat level plane with an enclosed dome above us. It's an enclosed system. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Yah bless you all. And um, keep seeking out the truth.